Hey all, it's Josh with Battle Bond here, coming at you guys with another hobby update. So, as we can see, the plan was for me to get the Boar Boys and my hero done up, as well as uh, a couple of other models. And I managed to get it done in time for some battle reports. If you guys like the look of these models, make sure to check out the battle re reports I feature them. Let's just kind of have a closer look at these guys then, shall we? So just like before, the uh, the paints used will be in the description. So if you want to know what paints were used for what, just have a read through the description and it will tell you. But I am quite pleased with how these guys turned out, especially in the time that it took for me to get them done. I know I said I wanted to get them done in uh about a week or so but due to you know life and stuff they actually took me a couple weeks to finish but i also wasn't working on them every day or anything like that yeah as far as i'm concerned i am very pleased with how they turned out so uh, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. The models are from Highlands Miniatures, uh, these specific ones. So if you guys like the look of these models, make sure to check them out. And then uh, let's have a look at these two. We decided to start doing some one page rules. So that's what I got these guys ready for. So they will definitely be featured in uh, an upcoming battle report. It was uh, really fun. So it was our first time trying out one page rules and we specifically did uh, Grim Dark Future Firefight and we had a blast with it. It was really great to play with a small number of models that basically all felt like heroes. And the fact that we could get through games so quickly was a real boon to the system as far as I'm concerned, especially being like uh, a new dad and stuff. It's really, really awesome that we could get together and potentially play two or three games in the time it would take us to play like one game of say 40k or Warhammer the Old World or what have you. I'm really looking forward to doing up some more models for that and t to uh, um, begin some more games of the, the system in. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention as well, the these two models are from Edge Miniatures, and we do actually sell them in our shop. So if you like the looks of these, you can check it out. The shop is etsy.com slash shop slash Battle Bond Miniatures. Um, there'll be a link in the description for that, as well as a discount code if you want to purchase anything from the shop. So yeah, let's just do uh, another kind of close up like we did last time so we can see all these guys ranked up together. Uh, like I said, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think all the techniques used were simple. It was like 90% army paint or speed paint. They look really good on the table as far as I'm concerned, especially from like tabletop distance. So I would highly recommend these specific models they're great full of detail all kinds of cool things and also getting some army painter speed paint if you haven't already because they made this task way easier than it could have been so we will move on to uh what i'll be working on next and um maybe talk about a little bit what we'll be doing in the future. I know I said I had something big planned for Lord of the Rings and this is it. So it's a uh, great beast of Gargaroth from KZK minis. I actually thought that this thing was going to be more Mumex sized than it is. <laughs> so when I printed it out, I was a little surprised to see um, just how small it is. And then, the, the how to especially, so if we uh, put it on him here, like uh, he's supposed to have nine nine orcs with bow on him with a rider. And uh, all those models are there in the, the set from KZK. But uh, you definitely can't put nine models on bases in the how to. So um, I have a tournament coming up 
in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna get this guy painted up for that tournament and use him. So uh, we'll get some battle reports up for that. Uh, it should be fun. Um, I had a couple of games against a Mumak and obviously this guy won't be nearly as effective because he's not even close to as strong as uh, one of those. But it should be a really cool, fun piece to use. And I'm pretty excited. So the tournament is being held here in Calgary and it's going to be 650 points. And um, just a kind of a, a preview of the list I'm going to take. It's going to be uh, the Witch King, obviously. Uh, sorry, I'm going to be playing Mordor. So it's going to be the Witch King, obviously, um, this guy. And then uh, I'm also going to take the Shadow Lord just to help me kind of keep this guy safe from shooting and stuff. Because we don't want him, you know, like rampaging off by himself from taking a, a stupid wound from a, a bow or something like that. And I have no idea what other armies are going to be there. So having whatever protection I can get from shooting should be pretty good. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm just filling it with a, a bunch of orcs and some black Numenorians, basically. Yeah, that'll be coming up. So if you want to see how this guy fares, definitely check out the battle reports there. And as far as what I'm going to be working on after this, uh, I actually haven't decided. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll make another video, obviously, when this guy's done and uh, kind of what the plan is for what I want to do for some future painting projects. So if you guys like the, this video and these updates, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and a comment. And let me know what you guys think of these miniatures and how they turned out paint-wise. If you guys like it, if you would have done something different, what what you guys are working on. I'd, I'd love to hear about what other people are working on, especially for the old world right now, because we got a, a lot of like new old stuff that people are excited about. Yeah, so like I said, I'll have another one of these when this guy is finished and we'll talk about what we're gonna do for future projects. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.